Aqua tofana, also known as Aqua tofana, Aqueta perigena, and Aqua tufania, and Mana di San Nicola was a strong poison that was reputedly widely used in Naples, Perugia, and Rome, Italy. During the early 17th century Giulia Tofana, or Tofania, an infamous lady from Palermo, made a good business for over 50 years selling her large production she employed her daughter and several other lady helpers of Aqua Tofana to would-be widows. <laughs> Original creation The first recorded mention of aqua tofana, literally meaning tofana water, is from 1632 to 33. Perhaps an older recipe had been refined by Tofana and her daughter, Girolama Spera, around 1650 in Rome. The trade name Mana di San Nicola, i.e., Mana of Saint Nicholas of Bari might have been a marketing device intended to divert the authorities, since the poison was openly sold both as a cosmetic and a devotionary object in vials that included a picture of Saint Nicholas. Some of her customers claimed to have used it for its advertised purposes and only caused deaths accidentally. Over 600 victims are alleged to have died from this poison, mostly husbands of unhappy spouses. Tofana was arrested and confessed to producing the poison, and she implicated a number of her clients, claiming that they knew what they were buying. She was executed in July 1659. There was much disquiet throughout Italy and many of her clients fled, while others were strangled in prison, and indeed many were publicly executed. Between 1666 and 1676 the Marchioness de Brinvilliers poisoned her father, two brothers, amongst others, and was executed on July 16, 1676. Ingredients The ingredients of the mixture are basically known but not how they were blended. Aqua tofana contained mostly arsenic and lead and possibly belladonna. It was a colorless, tasteless liquid and therefore easily mixed with water or wine to be served during meals. <inaudible> <inaudible> Symptoms Aqua tofana was able to go unnoticed as it has no taste and is clear. It was slow-acting, resembling progressed diseases or death from natural causes. The symptoms seen are similar to the effects of arsenic poisoning. There were a number of symptoms exhibited by those poisoned by aqua tofana. The first small dosage would produce cold-like symptoms. The victim was very ill by the third dosage. Symptoms include throwing up, dehydration, diarrhea and a burning sensation in the digestive system. The antidote often given was vinegar and lemon juice. The fourth dosage would kill the victim. As it was slow acting it allowed victims time to prepare for their death, including writing a will and repenting. Aqua tofana could not be detected in the bloodstream, therefore it could not be identified in post-mortems. <laughs> Legend about Mozart The legend that Mozart (1756–1791) might have been poisoned using aqua tofana is completely unsubstantiated, even though it was Mozart himself who started this rumor. Though not everyone agrees with this, research of Mozart manuscripts showed evidence to musicologists Oliver Hahn and Claudia Maurer Zenk that large amounts of arsenic were found in the manuscript of Die Zauberflot, the opera Mozart was working on the latest years of his life. Arsenic is one of the most important ingredients of aqua tofana. A source of confusion Tofana is in many sources confused with Hieronima Spara, La Spara, a woman with a similar profession in Italy about the same time. Probably this is another name for the Astrologia della Lungara, 